Hi everyone, I'm Adam, and I'm the guy behind the Moose Book series, which are children's books about a traveling moose. Today we're going to be reading The Moose's Day at Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island used to be an amusement park located on Grand Island, New York, and Grand Island is sandwiched right in between Buffalo and Niagara Falls. I wrote this story because I wanted to relive my childhood memories at the park, and when I got older, I brought my kids to the park, so I wanted them something to remember the park by. So, if you want a fun story, buckle up and let's go for some rides. One summer morning, the moose decided to have some fun at Fantasy Island. There were so many rides that the moose did not know which one to go on first, but he chose the roller coaster which was followed up by the boats, hot air balloons, and a tall slide. He hopped on a biplane and got in a dogfight with the Red Baron. Next, he rode the famous Blue Goose and the carousel. Our right happy friend became thirsty and spotted a lion shaped water fountain. At first the moose was nervous that the lion was going to bite him, but quickly realized it was a pretend lion. The moose quickly found himself in a western town where he became an honorary sheriff. A short while later the moose crossed over a small wooden bridge where he fed some fish and turtles. As he walked past the midway, he wanted to play some games, but he did not have any money, so he kept walking. Then the moose took a leisurely drive in an old-fashioned car, but preferred the high-paced thrills of bumper cars. After all the rides, the moose worked up a pretty big appetite. It did not take him long to find food. The moose ended up ordering a bag of cotton candy, a snow cone, a box of popcorn, a candy apple, and a large loganberry. Once he was full on junk food, the moose felt brave enough to ride the Tilt-A-Whirl. However, after the ride, the moose was dizzy and thought the ride should have been renamed the Tilt-A-Hurl. In a daze, the moose stumbled into Devil's Hole. Little did he know that the ride would spin him in a circle, make him stick to the wall like Velcro, and make him more sick and dizzy. Afterwards, he decided to take it easy and float down the lazy river. While on the lazy river, the moose spotted a massive water slide. The moose eventually worked up the courage to go down the water slide, and he loved it. It was closing in on noon, and the moose was getting a bit tired, though he still wanted to go on more rides. He saw the ferris wheel, but it was too scary looking, so he avoided it. Instead, the moose had a nice and relaxing ride on the train, where he fell asleep. The end.